this is Big Boom Beat down here, and today I'm gonna be doing a different type of video. I'm gonna be doing a um, tower tier list, and the reason why is because my laptop got sent in uh, for some like fix fixing and stuff like that, so I can't really do any gameplay video. So yeah, I'm doing a different type of video. Hope you guys enjoy it, and if you do, make sure to like and also subscribe. So yeah, let's get right into it. So start off D tier. Uh, I mean no S tier. Because, you know, th this Robo Farmer guy, he's just the best tower in the game. So, yeah. Start off with that. And, yeah, okay. Cobra. So, honestly, I, I think I'm going to put it in either S or A tier. And the reason why is because it's, like, um, really versatile, I guess. Um, like, it's used, it can be used, like, on a lot of maps. And it's pretty good. So, I think I'm going to put it in A tier. Dart Monkey, uh, A tier. Uh, there's nothing really to say about that. It's it's really versatile. Like all the upgrade paths are used, like the Juggernaut and Super Monkey Fan Club. All that all of that is used. Um, so yeah, it's like a really uh, well-rounded tower, but it's also not like super OP. So yeah, put it in the A tier. Tax shooter. I'm gonna go with the B tier, and the reason for that is because like the only thing it's good for is Blade Maelstrom, pretty much, and Blade Shooter. Um, the only time you use like Ring of Fire is on, is is on when you're using an eco strategy, like a uh, village village attack eco strategy. But um, it's not very those strategies aren't very good on most maps. Uh, so yeah, and tag shooter is not used like a lot. So yeah, it's not very good. I mean, it's not it's not bad, but it's just like okay, I guess. Ninja. Okay, this one's really interesting. Um, I I'm gonna have to put it in the B tier because it's pretty much only used. Uh, for the um, it's only used in like eco strategies and uh, sabotage, that's pretty much it, uh, except for like NFE. But um, I would still put it in the B tier, so yeah, boomerang monkey. Uh, I'll put this guy in the B tier as well. He used to be pretty good with like boat boomerang and stuff like that, but the meta's kind of changed, so he's only pretty much used for turbo charge, so he's not like this, uh, the best. Bomb tower. Okay, this one's gonna be really interesting. I'm putting it in the B or C tier. I'm not very sure. I think I think I'm gonna put it in the um, C tier. To be honest, unfortunately, no. I, I'm gonna put it in the B tier because the cluster cannon is pretty good and the Moet Mauler is pretty good. But the the thing is, it's pretty like it's it's mostly a support tower, so it's not like game breaking or anything. So yeah, sniper. Uh, honestly, I'm still gonna put it in the C tier, and the reason why is because Sniper Farm is actually not even that good anymore. Like, if you don't have the village ability, the village cooldown thing, it's not very good, to be honest. Um, yeah, it really isn't that good. Uh, the only time you use it is like eco strategy, but the, but those strategies um get countered pretty easily by farm strategies. Uh, if you just farm really hard, and then you can just win late game most of the time. Uh, so yeah, that's why I put it in the C tier. Spike Factory C tier as well, and the reason why it's it's not very like good to be honest. It's it's not very good at all, even after like all these buffs. It's only used like on short maps like NG um, Spike Factory, Cobra Spike Factory, you know that type of stuff. Uh, and yeah, it's it's just not not in a very good position in my opinion. Um, Monkey Buccaneer, okay. So the thing about this guy is that he's only used. Obviously, he's he can't be used on like uh, land, so it's gonna be really hard to rank him because he's obviously really good on water maps, but you can't even use him on land maps. So I think I'm gonna put him in the S tier, and the reason why is because it's it's basically a must have if you're playing on a water map. Like there's not a lot of strategies you go on water maps. You must have boat pretty much. Um, besides like. Um, sub eco strat, but those are like not very good in my opinion. So yeah, that's why I put it in the S tier. Okay, wizard. This guy, I, I think I'm gonna have to put it in the C tier. He's not very good right now. He's not very good at all. Like um, he used to be used with like Wiz Village, but that that's not even good anymore. And like Wiz Chipper, you could argue, but it's, that's not very good strat either. So yeah, wizard is not in a very good spot right now. So that's why I put it in the C tier. Glue Gunner, I'm putting him in the C tier as well. And 
The reason why is because he doesn't synergize with like any tower at all, pretty much, except for like Darling Glue. But anything other than that, you never use the glue at all, pretty much. He just doesn't really synergize with any other tower, so yeah. Not very good. Ice Tower. This guy is really interesting. Um, he's used with like um, Heli Ice, pretty much. And I think I'm going to have to put it in the C tier. And the reason why is because he's like the staple of Heli. Like, if you don't. If you're not going ice with heli, it's it's gonna be so hard to pull off heli. Um, so yeah, ice is just like that tower that you can like stall, and it pairs really well with heli. Um, so yeah, what other strats are there with ice? I don't think there's any other strats with ice, but I still think it's really good. Oh yeah, also boat ice. Boat ice is um okay on some maps. So yeah, ace. Um. I think I'm gonna put him in the A tier to be honest. Um, yeah, he is pretty good right now. Um, I think he's like balanced, but he's still pretty good. And the reason why, like, obviously DFA, right? But also his um, both paths for his um, tower is pretty good. Like, you have the ground zero and the specter on the other side, so both sides are pretty good. Um, so yeah, that's the reason why I put him in the A tier. Like also you can use Wiz Ace if you want, um, Boat Ace, Dart Ace, you know, all that. And you can also go Dart Eco Ace if you want. So yeah, it's it's a pretty versatile tower. Um, so I put it in the A tier. More tower, okay, definitely A tier. Um, so I don't put it in the S tier because it's only like a support tower, like I said. it's it, You can't like use him as a main tower because, uh, um, you know, his... He can't pop like space balloons at all, but he's pair. Uh, I mean, but like paired up with boat, it's just pretty much dominates every water map. So yeah, banana farm, hundred percent S tier. Like I, I don't think I need to explain this at all. Like banana farm is literally used in like ninety percent of the games. So yeah, just really good banana farm right now, and I'm not complaining because eco strats are kind of annoying to play against. So I, I don't care if banana farm's that good. Super monkey. Okay, this guy is really interesting. To be honest, I think I'm gonna have to put him in this in the C tier, not not the D tier, because he actually like does some stuff late game. He he's pretty cost effective late game. That that's that's what I'm saying. Um, like Sun God, it's pretty cost effective late game. If you can get like ten of those on the screen, you're gonna be defending pretty late. And he also has a tech terror um ability that does a lot of damage. So yeah, I may have some bias right here because, you know, I love the Super Monkey. Um, but, yeah, I'm putting him in the C tier. Village. Okay, this guy is really interesting because he's, like, obviously just a support tower. Um, so I'm going to put him in the C tier. And the reason why is because he doesn't really work with any farm strategy. And obviously farm is the meta. So, like, if you're going village, you're probably going an eco strat. And in general, eco strats aren't that good. So... Yeah. Heli pilot. Okay. Um he I th I think I'm gonna put him in the A tier. He's honestly really good right now. Um he's pretty good, I mean, not like super broken or anything. I think I'm gonna put him in the A tier. Uh there's a lot of good heli strategies. You got like heli ice. Um Heli Village also works sometimes. Uh Heli Bomb I've seen, Heli Glue. So there's quite a lot of heli uh, strats. He's pretty versatile, and his Apache is obviously really good. So yeah, A tier. Engineer, A tier I think as well. Even after the nerf, um, still pretty good, um, pretty solid. You can go uh, NG NFE or NG SPAC. Both of those are pretty uh, solid strategies. So put him in the A tier. Chipper, okay, this guy, he's going in the D tier. Like you're you you're just not good, okay? You don't. He's just not good at all. He, like the reason why is because he obviously he can he doesn't really do anything late game, and early game he doesn't really do anything either. So, yeah, like he, the only thing you would use him for is to pop like pink balloons around four on the strong layers, and also like to defend mid mid uh, mid game rushes. You you pop a few boom chippers down on strong, 
and it pops the strong layers off. That's pretty much all you do with a balloon chipper. And it doesn't really fit with any strategy at all. Like literally the only strat I've seen with the chipper is dart chipper or whiz farm chipper. And both of those strats are pretty bad. Um, first of all, dart chipper, dart farm chipper. Um, most of the time dart farm ace is obviously the metal. And even if, even if dart farm chipper is a decent strategy on that map, dart farm wizard still does better most of the time. Or dart farm dart farm bomb sometimes does better as well. So yeah, chipper is just really bad. Doesn't do good early game. Doesn't do good late game. So yeah, just bad in general. Sub. I'm gonna put him in the C tier. And here's why, right? The sub. Even after it's like buff, you would say you know it has plus one pierce. Even with that, it's it's not very good. The only thing you use him is his um, reactor and his first strike. But the thing is, uh, it's like his first strike. It's only like really late game, or if you want to defend like around twenty two all out. Like the only strategy you you use with the sub is pretty much sub eco or sub bomb, right? So yeah, that's pretty much my decision. Um, Darling gun. Okay, I'm gonna have to put him in the B tier. He is not very good anymore, to be honest. Uh, after his powerful darts nerf, like Heli usually does way better than Darling. Uh, so yeah. So that's my final tier. I no 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 hold on. I'm gonna try to I'm gonna uh make some changes if I want, cause I wanna see like try to make a good balance. I guess. Let's see. So. Buccaneer farm, yeah, obviously really solid towers. Cobra, Dart, Ace, Mortar, Heli, NG. Yeah, I think that's pretty fair. B tier, Tac, Ninja, Boomerang, Bomb, Ice, Darling. Yeah, I think that's pretty fair as well. Sniper, um, Spike Factory, uh, Wizard, Glue Gunner. Actually, you know what? I'm going to put the sub in the B tier. I think he deserves a B tier. Um, cause both of his paths are used, and he does pair up against some strategies. So yeah, I'm gonna put the sub in the B tier, and yeah, this is my tier list, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to like, subscribe, comment. I'll see you guys next one. Peace.